What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video we're going to be deep diving into somewhat of a unique fresh fragrance. Definitely has some decent power here. We'll get into performance obviously, but it's different. It's definitely different and I kind of dig it. We're talking about from Rasasi and the Satur line. This is Ra. So let's dive into it. Stay tuned. <laughs> Now, before we jump into the review, I want to thank PerfumeOnline.ca for sending this my way so I was able to spend some time with it and be able to film this review video for you guys. For those of you not familiar with PerfumeOnline.ca, they are Canada's number one online discount site. They have cheap Middle Eastern such as this, affordable designers, mid-level, high-level designers, niche, hard-to-find, vintage and discontinued gems. They've got a little bit of everything at very competitive prices. There will be links down below if you want to check out this fragrance or any of their inventory. Now, let's get into this review. Quick look at the box. Nothing super special here. It's a white box with the Rasasi logo. 100 ml, 3.3 fluid ounces stamped into it. This is the same kind of vinyl sticker that is on the bottle. Nothing on the sides, top. Fragrance info and manufacture date on the bottom. It was manufactured June 2021, as you can see, but it's just a box. And in regards to this bottle, love, love, love the color of that juice, that sky blue type of color. And like I said, it's actually not the exact same type of material, whereas this is this is more of a vinyl label versus what was on the box. But similar setup, name of the fragrance, all that good stuff. Information on the bottom, Eau de Parfum. Nothing on the cap. The cap does hold into place without clicking into place, and the atomizer does a good job. Let's talk about this scent, though. So even though the notes, which I'll have on the screen from Parfumo, don't warrant anything aquatic, there's a little bit of a watery aquatic feel to this one. Bright citrus, a lot of white florals here. The jasmine really stands out. And this one has kind of an odd opening. It has a bit of a wet wipes, baby wipes type of smell. Strange, I know. But it does. I don't find that to be off-putting in any way. The opening's a little different. And if you give it a moment... It starts settling into a spicy white floral that has this watery nuance to it because the nutmeg really shines here. The musk is a little, not so much animalic, which I believe that's actually the note on Parfumo's animalic musk. I don't find it all that animalic as I find I get a little bit more of an earthy musky tone, which is probably because of the patchouli that's in here, but it doesn't distinctively smell like patchouli. But I don't know, it kind of changes the way the, the musk is a little different from typical musks, though I don't find it real dirty in any way. That's why, I like, it says animalic musk and eh, tomato, tomato. Uh, but there's definitely a clear, like, darker, earthy, musky tone that balances well with the spice, white, floral, aquatic nuance that you get earlier on in the fragrance. That does hang out for a while because it is on the slightly synthetic side. Uh, I wouldn't call this some high quality smelling fragrance but it's really not super synthetic in any way, shape, or form. It does lean a little feminine because of the dominance of white florals here. The jasmine really shines, but it's not a very powdery type of fragrance. There's a little bit of soapiness, if anything, but I don't get a ton of powder here. Um, it actually smells quite nice, especially after two or three minutes of letting that opening settle down because, like I said, hearing wet wipes and hand wipes and baby wipes and things like that, it's probably an off-putting way to describe the scent, but it kind of does remind me of that. I'm not going to sit here and act like it doesn't. I'm calling, calling it like I smell it, basically, for you guys. Uh, but oddly attractive scent. Joy to wear. Wore it several times since I got it. I like the scent, but I can see this being extremely polarizing. This is going to be a hit or miss fragrance for a lot of people. Not really the safest of blind buys. If you can sample it first, which I don't know how, go for it. More than likely, you're probably going to have to blind buy it. So blind buy at your own risk. Now, in, the, in regards to performance, actually performs really well. Eight to ten hours in longevity on my skin. Better than I initially thought it would be. The first time I did a test spray, it seemed like it was calming down quite a bit, starting to settle a lot closer to the skin. And I'm thinking, you know, maybe six-hour range as I started to approach that timeline, it was kind of going to kill off, and it kept going. Eight, nine hours is kind of the sweet spot of what I've been getting for it, so a safe range of eight to ten hours in longevity. Projection early on is on the moderate to heavy side in the first hour to hour and a half. Even into the second hour, it's kind of arm's reach type of stuff. So pretty good projection here. I believe if you were to spray this one heavy, would be pretty cloying and definitely too much. Uh, so mindful of the sprays, this is one of those less is more type of fragrances because this one can get quite cloying, I find. Uh, I've, the sweet spot for me has been four to five sprays. Even three sprays, I think, is fine with this one. When you start dialing up into that seven and beyond spray range, 
it's I mean you're gonna you might choke yourself out here this the way this one is but I digress to each their own for me four to three to five sprays has been the sweet spot uh, and as far as the sillage is in that moderate range where it's actually not super weak I thought it was gonna get into that moderate to mild territory after this two two to three hour mark and as it started to get close to the skin it never really got too close to the skin where I could get some pretty dense whiffs of it from time to time throughout all the way into like the seven eight hour mark so I was actually kind of surprised for how fresh this is that it was able to have such a density to really maintain that level of strength for that long so across the board longevity well above average with eight to ten hours projection moderate to heavy so above average for sure and then sillage in the moderate range which again is above average so pretty much above average across the board in all three marks subcategories i guess you could say of performance final thoughts on rasasi satur ra this has actually been oddly enjoyable and attractive uh, the first time I heard anything about this when I watched the review from Joy Amin, shout outs to Joy. So I kind of knew what to expect going into it. Um, his review intrigued me. Quite a while back I saw this video and recently I was able to get my hands on it. Like I said in the beginning of the video, Perfume Online sent this out to me. I did select this from them for collaboration and uh, I dig it. I don't think it's the greatest fragrance out there, but I do dig it. It does make me randomly want to go back to it like some fragrances I'll do testing to do a review for and it's kind of like it almost feels like a chore sometimes because uh, I don't really love it I like it but don't love it like you guys know where I'm coming from if you're not in love with the scent you don't want to wear it over and over and over if you like it it's a here and there thing here I didn't find it to be a chore I've actually been enjoying wearing it I've been enjoying the testing process so I think it's a very good fragrance I think this one falls into a 7 out of 10 spectacular no solid and very good absolutely i think you could do a whole lot worse with what this one cost um this is a little bit different it doesn't smell like a bunch of other things and that's one of the things i greatly appreciate about it some of you have heard me say this before when it comes to these strange fragrances some are oddly attractive for me this is one of them not the strangest fragrance out there especially with some of the stuff i've reviewed in recent months there's been some oddballs out there but this one it's quite nice it's very good well, that's the review on Rasasi Satua Ra. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate all the feedback, and I love hearing from you guys. Thank you once again to PerfumeOnline.ca for allowing me and affording me the opportunity to spend time with this moving forward, not just to make this review video, because it's going to be in this week's rotation, for example, just like it was in last week's rotation, because I've been enjoying wearing this one. Moving forward, you'll see this one pop in and out of the rotation from time to time, because I do... I do quite enjoy it. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on Rosasi Satura Ra and you give it a spray now, you might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys.